This program was brought to you by Penny Mac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. With the people, products, and technology to take you there, it's why they say, at Penny Mac, greatness lives here. Welcome to The Interest. I'm Christine Stewart, and I'm getting ready to pack my bags for the largest mortgage conference in the country. I can't wait to see you all there. One of the people I'm excited to meet is Mike Fawaz of Rocket Mortgage. Fawaz will be speaking about the technology that propels their originations. But there's a lot more to the man than meets the eye. Our reporters here at National Mortgage Professional caught up with him for the August issue of NMP Magazine to learn more about what makes him tick. Like, man, this is what I wanted all my life, to be able to live this dream of being able to live here. Mike Fawaz remembers the date, March 3rd, 1998. It's the day he stepped off a plane in Detroit, leaving his home in war-torn Liberia. Fawaz dreamed of coming to the U.S. to give his family a better life, and he knew immediately that this was the place. Put it this way, I, I think the first time I saw or, or actually knew what hot water was, like, like to take a bath in hot water, was in the United States of America. Fawaz enrolled at the University of Michigan to study business. Today, he's Rocket TPO's ambassador to brokers. He's constantly on the go, whether he's on the road or back home. So the last, call it seven, eight, nine months of my life, has been on the road. I'm still leading a sales team every single day, but, and I'm doing meetings at 6 a.m. in Detroit, and I'm working until 11, 12 p.m. Um, I'm not afraid. Like, like I, don't, cause I also believe that if you love what you do, it's not work anymore. Fawaz has been able to help his family. His sister and parents eventually followed him to the U.S. Every single day I wake up, the fact that I can wake up every single day and walk out of my house just like it happened this morning, and as I walk out, my mom tells me, she prays for me, as I walk out of my house, it's the most incredible, incredible thing that helps me be who I am every single day. And he's taken that same personal touch to his management style. When you want to have a one-on-one -on -one with someone to talk about their family, only do it about their family. Don't bring business into it. And when you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, because we are also in business and you want to talk about business, just do it about business. Fawa says originators should take a similar approach when dealing with customers, especially in a down market. Helping customers understand what they can and can't afford can help everyone involved. And they expect that, and that's where you become a pro, and you explain to them where the market is at, and you focus on their financial well-being versus an interest rate that they, will, that they don't write on their mortgage payment. You can hear more of Fawa's story and his advice on The Principal, the Mortgage News Network's daily podcast. For the Mortgage News Network, I'm Mike Savino. The scales of the housing market are tipping towards buyers. More homeowners are holding off on selling as the housing market cools, fueling the largest decline in home listings in more than two years. Still, the overall inventory of homes has risen year over year, and that's giving home buyers more choices, resulting in the sixth consecutive monthly decline in, in competition for the homes that are for sale. Nationwide, 43.3% of home offers written by Redfin agents face competition in July, compared to a revised rate of 50.9% one month earlier and 63.8% one year earlier. That's the lowest share on record, with the exception of April 2020, when the onset of the coronavirus pandemic brought the housing market to a near standstill. The typical home in a bidding war received 3.5 offers in July, compared with 4.1 a month earlier and 5.3 a year earlier. And finally, it's been a while since we've talked about layoffs in the industry, but they are still ongoing. Homeward, an Austin, Texas-based company offering alternate financing for real estate, laid off about 20% of its staff this week. The company employs about 600 people, so approximately 120 employees were affected. The founder and CEO of the company made the announcement in a blog post on the company's website. The market has changed dramatically in recent months. High inflation has persisted, interest rates are rising dramatically, and home sales have fallen from historic highs. The company will offer severance pay and health benefits. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. This program was brought to you by PennyMac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. For more on these and all today's top stories, visit themortgagenewsnetwork.com.